All right, there's that fancy ore chute right there. And we've got middle level of workings right here. A little bit of a tight squeeze, but I'll drop in and pick up there. Just inside the portal now. Let's uh, head on in and see what awaits us. It looks like a big pile of something right there is waiting for us. Hopefully they're not, that's not an indication of how this whole mine is. Uh, there's a chute on the left right there. Oh, okay, good, that's not in the way. That's where I just have to climb over that pile. Um, so I've got like a uh, little grease bucket there. Good looking ore chute right here. That uh, runs up to there. Uh, this just looks like backfill. The uh, adit runs off, excuse me, a drift runs off that way. And a drift runs off that way. And a drift runs off that way. Um, let's go to the right here and see how this looks. Nice and spacious in here. It also uh, seems to have those natural cave formations that the uh, upper adit did, except that there's a stole right there. So this actually looks like partly stooping. Interesting. There's never a stole there. So this was a stope. All right, that's the stopey section we we're just checking out. I still think most of these were uh, natural caves, even if that was a stope. Uh, something running off that way. There is, uh, what do we have here? Oh, that's kind of cool. See the old shovel. And I cannot make out what that says. I see four starter. That's all I can see. No, I think that's pretty much gone. Unless somebody can make that out. Huh. Anyway, uh, it's greasy. I can see my hands all greasy. So that greasy thing is right there. I had to stop and wipe the grease off my hand. Um, this is just a big hole in the ground right here. That might have dropped down to something at one time, but it's plugging out. Um, and then looking over here, there's that ladder right there that, uh, goes up to that stope. That actually does look like a stope right there. That doesn't look natural. I think they blasted that out. Uh, and then that other stope we saw just connects over there. And up here, as you can see, but then stuff like this, that's uh, that's natural cave, it's not stoked. Uh, let's see, the adit or drift does keep going back this way, but oh, it just stops right there. So let's go back and head down the next one. Back at the ore chute junction. We just, uh, that's the outside right there. We just checked that little area back there. Let's go see what is back here. A uh, bunch of bits of wood and pipe from look at it so far. Piece of rail right there. Pretty, uh, Good stoping here. Made a little platform right there to climb up. Pretty good stoping in here though. See those uh, big stoles. I'll get a hook on it right there. Uh, that that ties into those we were seeing on the other side. That's a pretty big slab that came down there. Uh, Okay, I thought something might go down there, but it just stopped right there. Took some material out there. 
Looks like it could be a scaling bar in front of us there. Um, that runs up to a little stope there. That looks like a natural cave. That was stoked, as you can see from all the stoles. Pretty interesting. And, uh, let's see, this keeps running ahead. And, oh, okay. Stops right here where uh, that stoke dumps down. Yeah, that's it. That's just uh, where the stoves dump down to here. So let's go head down that drift that uh, took off behind the ore chute and see where that takes us. All right, I was just taking another look at those uh, stoles in here because I thought they looked pretty cool. All right, let's. Uh, Go see what's behind this here. My friend is somewhere in the mine already, so maybe we'll catch up to him. He went left while I went right. So he hasn't seen what we already saw. Bunch of rocks down here. Uh, okay, I see some groundfall or something there. And a drift that takes off here. Let's go down here. Ah. All right, let's open up for a minute. Too bad it didn't last. Looks like. Uh, there's a stove or something dumping down. Actually, where did this come from? Okay, yeah. Uh, it came from up here. There is a raise. It just runs up there and stops. Uh, but the drift keeps going. carbide can there. More of that natural cave. I keep saying natural cave, but I guess most caves or all caves are natural. You guys know what I mean. Yeah, I mean the miners definitely didn't do that. See there was tracking here at one time. See the outline of it on the floor. Um, yeah, the miners definitely didn't do that either. A human being could not fit through there. Unless it was an infant, perhaps. All right, it keeps heading back and bending around a bit. Very dark rock in here. marks the spot or not. I think X marks us we need to turn around because that's the face right there. Huh. That's some quartzy looking rock right here. I think that is quartz actually. It's a fair amount of calcite in this district but that looks crystalline in nature, so I think that, that is actually quartz. All right, let's head back and keep down, heading down that main drift that took off from behind the ore chute. All right, we just visited that drift there and are going to continue down this way where we have not been yet. It's like I don't know if a shoot came down there or what. My friend's backpack right there. And he's been gone for a while. So this must go somewhere decent. 
Uh, I don't know, it looks like it faces it out right there. Let me climb over this and we'll figure out what the deal is. All right, I just climbed over that mess. And uh, this has to connect to the surface because there's all kinds of leaves and sticks and pine needles and such in here. And uh, this runs up back there and uh, overhead up into uh, a bunch of crevices up there. And also back that way. But that, you see some wood back there. I think part of that is natural and I think part of that is mined because that, that gap right there is very narrow for uh, miners to have created. Uh, looking ahead here, that's my buddy's tripod. Uh, those are those pieces of wood we were just looking through and seeing right there. And uh, was up there as well. That actually is not a face. No, I'm taking a closer look at it. it. Bends around to the side, so let's go see what's back there. So this is that spot I thought was a face, but fortunately it keeps uh, going off in this direction. Man, this mine is a mess. Uh, uh, they just cut that down outside and jam that in here. That's old school. Uh, more stoping here. That looks like stoping, not uh, caves. And that's pretty cool. You've got a section right there. And then it runs up to those stoles. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And then that's looking through to what we were seeing on the other side. So we saw this before from the other side. I like those stools, man. That's cool. Uh, I don't know, yeah, and it drops over there. And the attic continues that way, as you can see, but I don't have to crap on the floor, so we're going up and down and up and down. Neat little arch right there. Leading up into more open space there. And to the right, we looked through that way a minute ago. Back here. I even got over here too. If I can do that without falling down. Okay, that's all connected. Back there. It all ties together. So. Let's keep scrambling up and down. There's like an old carbide can there. Man, more of the another pillar right there. More uh, stope and cave action here. They really ran all through here. There are a couple other mines we've been in where the uh, mineralization that was left over from the creation of the caves uh, is extremely rich. So I'm actually not too surprised to see them working around these caves so much. You know? It's a big solid slab over us. It's all one, it's like one giant boulder. Seems like they just did all kinds of work back here. Uh, let's see. This looks like backfill here. And there's a little chamber right there. They cleared out. Looking around this way. Things keep running there. Uh, you can see some gobbing on the left there. Let's see. They cleared, obviously cleared this out at one point, but have now backfilled it. It doesn't go anywhere anymore. Looking ahead, 
There's a big hole in the ground. Uh, just looking back there. You can see, yeah, uh, just stops there. Doesn't go anywhere. Uh, wow. That, uh, that drops down quite a way. There's a lot. It must have run quite a way down there. And, uh, down there as well. That drops away. And, uh, oh wow. That looks like a hoist. Which, uh, would fit perfectly with that going down a long way. That is awesome. So rare to see that. That is really cool. Uh, let's see. I gotta climb over that to get over there. I'll find a way. This, uh, let's see. Okay, just a little stope right here. Let me get the uh, really bright light out and let's take a look down there. It's pretty steep and ugly looking down there. I don't really see any reason to go down there. But uh, I want to get a better look at it. So let me pull that out and I'll rejoin you. All right, there's looking at it with the uh, really bright light. That just stops there, but it, it keeps dropping down there. That's uh, an ore patch or something. It goes vertical right there. And uh, probably ties into the lower workings. Looking down. Excuse me, it's hard not to fall in the pit. Looking down this way. See? See what I mean about falling in the pit? Um, looking down that way, it looks, it looks like it stops there. Uh, but there's a darker section on the bottom right that might keep going a little way, but I uh, actually don't really see any way over there. And I can live without seeing an old stope. But uh, that's pretty cool, this section here. Obviously, uh, it's really filled in with debris now, but it must have been much more open and extensive for them to uh, have that hoist right there. That is awesome. I'm going to figure out a way over to it and I'll pick up over there. Alright, there's a better look down that. Uh, what I think is an ore pass because it just goes vertical right there and keeps dropping down. But uh, far more interesting is this hoist here. It's just chilling in the middle of the drift. That is phenomenal to see that here. See, there's the controls back there. Wow. Pretty rare to see this on the ground, you guys. As uh, most of you well know. Pretty cool. I uh, squeeze by and uh, take a look at the other side. Okay, here's the view from the other side. See, I set up in some big wooden blocks right there. Here's a better look at the controls. I think it might have been air driven, but I don't know a lot about hoists, so someone may correct me on that. Man, that's really neat. Really neat. See how the uh, top of the handles, oh, focus, focus, focus. Oh well, the top of the uh, handle is polished right here. There we go. From somebody's hands rubbing over it so many times. That's kind of cool. All right, last lingering look at the hoist. And let's finish this out. Let's see where it goes. Still messy back here. Getting tired of climbing over all this stuff. And it doesn't look like it stops either. Keeps getting, keep going over pile after pile. Uh, little pocket here. That might actually be ground fall. 
that's on the ground here. Meaning that might be ground fall that came out of the side there and not something that they cleared out. That running down there though, looks like something they cleared out. And uh, that I bet ties into that area we were trying to see down before. Uh, the one that was sort of off to the right. Uh, man. There's a pile here. Looks like uh, at least some of that may have come down naturally from up there. Yeah, it keeps going up there, it looks like. Might be a fork or something up there. Yeah, this is hard work. Yeah, looks like there's some kind of junction or something up here. Uh, there it is. It says eight. There's something running off that way. And this way. Odd little... That rock is very different from the surrounding rock, so it stands out. Uh, let's go this way. Looks like we've got another fork here. Oh, sort of. That uh, hits a face right there. It's the end. Some flowstone here. Okay. And that ends right there. So, let's go back and see where this goes. Maybe to another hoist, who knows? No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like that is the end right there. Just to be sure. Yeah, that is it for this level of the mine. I'm heading out now and I noticed these bottles on the ground here. I am uh, very far from a bottle expert, but these looked pretty old to me. And uh, I, th I think that says Smith and Company, San Francisco, is missing the uh, letters before the TH, but I think that's Smith and Co. Uh, yeah, and that was Roth. And I don't see any other. So something Roth and Co. San Francisco.